Okay, we'll walk back through here. And uh, I hope you're, yeah, see, uh, the whole area is sort of, uh, yeah, look, tree trees, which shows how wet it can get. You now, tree trees are a really good sign of, as Donnie and I learnt, tea tree and sea trees in, well, at least southern Australia seem to go. So we've got golf courses, power lines, tea trees, you know, so. See, it does seem to be like a, like a corridor going through here. And then the pathway's down there somewhere, so if we, uh, it sort of bends around a bit, so. As you can see, well maybe, I should actually photograph this corridor thing from back here somewhere, you know, down low for Rossi or something. And, uh, you know, maybe up a bit high, because he can't quite see it from, uh, but yeah, it seems to run through here. Gets a bit wetter here, or looks like it does. As I said, it's probably, I'm just pushing my luck today. Oh, there's that rock thing. Got a photograph yesterday. So, where's that one? Must be around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. so we'll find the really good one and work out from it. But uh, yeah, oh, it looks like another little wet patch down here. Through this bank here. Oh yeah, so now we've got another pathway running uh, this way, 45 degrees almost to it. So yeah, it's uh, quite an area. Take another shot, I suppose. And down here. Maybe it switches to macro when you take a photograph in video or something. Maybe that's what it's doing. I don't know. Anyway, come back down to the pathway. Now, according to Google, another source of food, I suppose. That will look interesting as well. If we come back next year. So here's the Dolomite pathway. And somewhere to the right, there were two little patches or something. So we're back here, back there. A little bit of moisture there, but on this side, supposedly somewhere up here towards the road, I'll start a new clip, okay.